The topic today is by request from a regular viewer and it relates to follow up. Now more than likely a good chunk of what I'm about to tell you is stuff that you may already know. But what I'd like to do is to reinforce not only the importance but the necessity, the absolute necessity uh, of a thorough follow up process. And as I said this probably isn't anything that you don't know. But the question though and my challenge today is can your business do better? Because of all the businesses that I speak to, I'd hazard that only 1 in 10 would give their business a score above average when it comes to follow up. Now this could be a massive opportunity because if you're putting all the effort into lead generation and business development and estimating and quoting but then falling down on the follow up, it's like you've baked a perfect cake and forgotten the icing. Your results will be lacking. So I'd like to run through three areas to consider uh, in terms of the follow-up efforts uh, within your business. And the first is a tenacity. If you get some time to take a look, some of the statistics on follow-up are actually very interesting. 44% of salespeople only follow up once, a further 22% give up after the second follow-up uh, and another 14% on the third. So 80% of the time, salespeople aren't making more than three follow-ups. But the stats also show that only around 20% of sales are made before the fifth contact. So that's a great demonstration of the 80-20 rule right there. So tenacity and persistence are required to maximise your chances of conversion. And you can see that there's a massive disconnect between what is required to close sales and what the majority of salespeople are actually doing. So what an opportunity to stand head and shoulders above the competition with relentless, ruthless, a tenacious follow-up. Are you following up leads in your business uh, until they either buy uh, or die? So one of the standard excuses is that there just isn't enough time to follow everything up properly. But that's just a cop-out. Because you either need to structure your funnel uh, and your sales resources to allow everything to be followed up 100% or make a conscious decision to have a reduced intensity follow-up uh, on leads that meet certain criteria. And then the second area uh, is timing. In follow-up, as in most areas of business, a timing is everything. And that goes for speed of response and follow-up times, but also for scheduling of follow-up activities. So the stats also tell us uh, some interesting things about timing uh, of follow-up, such as responding to leads within an hour makes you seven times more likely uh, to close a deal than those who wait uh, a day or more. But then have you given consideration to when is best to schedule the bulk of your follow-up activities? Because the research says that Wednesdays and Thursdays are the best times to follow up, uh, both by phone and email, while Mondays, Tuesdays uh, and Friday afternoons are the worst performers. But then while afternoons are the best time for email follow-ups, a phone follow-ups work best around 8 and 9 in the morning uh, and 4 and 5 in the afternoon. So how are your salespeople structuring their day? Are they actually working to maximise uh, the effectiveness of their efforts? And the final area uh, is tracking. So along with the tenacity and timing, are you tracking your pipeline uh, and follow-up results properly? Do you know how follow-up is influencing your conversion rate? What activity is required uh, to close a sale? Are you tracking overdue follow-up activities and resolving them immediately? Some of the tracking will relate to systems, uh, but then some uh, will be process. So is there a documented follow-up process in place and is it being followed uh, religiously? So that's a pretty simple take uh, on a very important topic, but I hope you can take away something that may help in your business. And whilst every business and every sales process is different, the fundamental principles of follow-up do not really vary that much. So I'll repeat the challenge that I set at the start, and that is, can your business do better on follow-up? So how are you going on the tracking, the timing, or the tenacity? And if you don't yet have a culture of intensive, a relentless, ruthless, tenacious follow-up in your business, that means you can do it better. So all the best, and I'll see you next week.